Do you ever feel like your business runs you, not you running the business? So I'm Brennan Morrow. I own multiple businesses, and I'm going to talk about a superpower that I've learned over time. Good friend of mine, Sam Carpenter, uh, drove this home from his book, Work the System, who uh, actually owns a company right here in Bend, Oregon. So today I'm going to show you how I'm now using AI to craft standard operating practices, procedures. There's a, different, a lot of different words for this. So in Sam's book, Work the System, he talks about writing procedures. And I'm going to take a little moment to to go over the, the big picture of this. Okay. So if you want to get out of doing every part of your job or every part of the business, there's only way, one way to do this, and this is document it so someone else can do it. Now, there are a lot of ways you can document, right? You can document it by telling somebody, and then they follow those instructions. You can document it by writing it down. You can document it by making a video and passing that on. Um, ultimately, though, you need it to be done in the same way over and over and over again if you want to get consistent results in your business. Now, this could be, in my case, I owned a, a solar tube installation business. This could be the process to install a solar tube. This could be the process to answer a call. This could be the process to schedule an appointment. It doesn't really matter. Each of these things are small cogs that all go to the big picture of the business. So without too much preamble, I'm going to assume that you've come to this video because you already know the value of, of creating SOPs and you want to know how to do it in today's age using ChatGPT. So let's get to it. Now a little backdrop here. Uh, I'm in the Toa Toa Toolbox, which is uh, my, my tool system. This has all my tools um, for all aspects of business and it's all in this one system and one of which is a folder of SOPs. Okay, this is what helps guide our, our team to be able to do the things that we need them to do and do it in a controlled way and update it. I'm also going to refer to Google Documents. That's what I used for probably 20 years um, or more in documenting procedures. And it's a really great way uh, to easily document, easily accessible software, super easy. Now, another software I'm going to reference today is called Fireflies AI. This is a meeting documentation software. You can look it up. I'm not affiliated with them. But in this case, I'm just using it to transcribe the videos that I make. Uh, there's a lot of transcription softwares out there. I'm not going to go down that wormhole. Figure the one you like and go with it. This one I use just because I'm documenting all my meetings anyways with it. So it's easy for me to, to go to. Now, of course, we have ChatGPT. You could also choose to go with like... Um, Google's AI version, and they also have another one called Notebook LM by Google, which I believe is free right now, and I've been playing with that. It, it has some benefits. Without further ado, let's get to how we're going to make a process or procedure. So the step one of this is we need to train up our AI module. Okay, so I'm just going to chat GPT. We could also go to uh, Notebook LM, and I'm going to do something really cool. So first, I'm going to come over here and I have a process and procedure, which you can copy right now. Okay. And this is my exact process and procedure on, well, how to make a procedure from AI software. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to hit control A, control C. I'm going to come over here to my chat GPT and I go, we are going to create procedures or SOPs, here is how. Okay, so now it's gonna read that entire process and look at this going. And off it goes to the races, cool. It's doing a new thing where it's like rewriting the document, but we'll, we'll just let it roll with that. Now I'm gonna take the template software. So this is a process template. So I'm laying out how to write a process, I'm gonna control that control C that and I'm going to bounce over here okay it was finished with that so now I'm gonna go here is an SOP template now great now it's gonna have the template so now I've taught it the template then I've taught it 
how to create an SOP based on a video which I made and then transcribed. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to create an SOP. Now what we're going to do is create a video of us doing the process. Now this could be a physical process like us videoing doing a installation of a solar tube in my earlier case um, or any physical thing we can use our phones right here to video that but there's going to be a couple key pieces to this okay first we want to state everything we're doing and say it out loud in descript form okay as descript as we can do it and then we will um uh, take action and, and just kind of record the process it can be a long video Right? It could be hours. I think I've transcribed things up to like four hours using this Fireflies AI. So you don't have to worry. You can actually do very large videos. Now I'm going to jump over to Fireflies AI. So after I make a video, usually it's going to be a screencast like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, we're going to create an SOP about how to make an SOP. Awesome. So I'm going to go, first thing we're going to do is click this button uploads then we're going to hit the upload button then we're going to upload the video um, and then we're going to let it sync and now we're going to download the video okay so could go let me just grab a, a potential video i've already made okay so we're going to come over here and we are going to look at uploading a video. So I'm going to the drive here. I had made some tutorials recently and I forget what they were about, but we're gonna grab one of them and open that. Okay, so there it goes, Toto Tech number three, upload that. Now it'll take a minute for it to upload and then transcribe. Okay, I'm gonna be a little impatient there while it's uploading because I probably already uploaded it, I did. Okay, so here was that transcription that I said. So I'm going to just download the transcription. Maybe I'll do it as a PDF. Um, sometimes I'll do it as a document um, because they get bigger. But we're going to come back to our chat GPT here. And now we're going to do this. We're going to say, we're going to upload that document, which is a PDF here. Boom. We're going to turn this into a procedure based on the transcript. Okay, so now it's thinking about it. It's doing some stuff. So it's editing. It's writing some, some documentation. So we'll let it do its work here. Okay, so here we go. Uh, it took that video, adding team members to the Toyota Tech system, and it turned it into the template where we go over the goals for the process and then the purpose. We then go over the tools that we're going to be using. It takes us through the, the steps to prep and then each of the steps of the process written out. Now, after we take this, I'm just going to go over here and, and highlight all this. I'm going to hit Control C. I now may just come over here and make a new uh, Google document. That would have been our older way of doing this. Paste it. I can come up here and click on the document title in Google Docs and it just grabs the top line. So that just made that really easy. Now I might want to come over and link the video, right? So since I uploaded it here, I think it uh, has a link there or I could jump back over to the video software where I recorded it, which is the, the bigger, pro generally what I do. Control C there. So I've grabbed the location of this and I might go tutorial and then give it a Control K there will allow us to add a link and I'm gonna add a link to that file and it will jump back to the video that I had uploaded. And there I have it. The whole process is now written down. 
Now I can take this process and, and assign it to people to do and just send them the link to the Google document that easy. And if they have a question, it could be like, hey, how do I do this at Brennan? And this is a way that we can easily comment on the, the actual process for the company. So at this point, we've created a procedure. Um, we've recorded it. We've made a way to communicate with teammates on um, how to do it or how to improve the process right there. And we've created a quick, quick tutorial video and we did it all with AI. It just took us a very short amount of time just recording a video of us doing the process and being very descriptive as we did it, ultimately leading to us being able to create this process or procedure. Great. Well, I hope this helps you. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us a message anytime. We're here to help. And uh, in the Toa Toa Toolbox, we have an SOP library uh, manufactured just to be able to record any sort of processes that a company needs, all built in there just so it can help document, outsource, up, uh, and automate anything that a business needs to be have done.